lovely lots and a big one welcome back to my channel long time at no see i'm aware that my hair looks a little bit purple we're just going to ignore that today's video is a little bit of a different one today is my evening slash nighttime skincare routine this video i've been meaning to film for the longest time so i'm at my parents house today which is why it looks a little bit different me filming this um and today's video is in partnership with duo Vell. All information for the brand will be linked in the description bar below. I was kindly gifted their facial brush with a couple of the different heads to use in my skincare routine. And I've been using them for around about a month and the difference in my skin is incredible. So I can't wait to show you guys how I use this in my skincare routine. And without further ado, let's get into today's video. So here we are, like I said, we're in a little bit of a different surrounding, but I think it looks quite nice. If you can hear any background noise, I really apologize. That's just what's going on downstairs. So without further ado, let's get into my nighttime skincare routine. So like I mentioned, today's video is partnered with the amazing Duo Vell. So I'm gonna be showing you how I use their mini facial in a brush. Um, I'm gonna be showing you what head I use and how I use it. Also, if you check out the description below, all the information for the brand will be in there, including a whopping 70% discount for all of you lovely lots so that you can get your hands on this amazing facial brush. So let's get into today's video and let's get all this makeup off. So first things first, we're going to take the earrings off and we're going to put the hair up because... I mean, who walks around with like big hoops and hair down at this time of night? Not me. Now I'd like to say there's some technique to putting my hair up, but there really isn't. We just kind of see how it goes and work with that. So I put it up in a pony and then we pull it through and we look like this. We're a little bit sweaty today. We've had a busy, busy day. So the first product that I use, and I will link all of my products in the description bar below. So the first product I use is my Garnier Micellar Water. I can't rave about this enough. It is the easiest way to take my makeup off. However, I don't just use this and kind of base it off that. I like to do a couple of cleanses, as you will see. So I just use this and some cotton pads to get all of this off. I saw this thing on TikTok and I wanna... Oh my God, it's actually true. I didn't even know that was true. Anywho, here we go. Here we go. There's something so satisfying, like just taking makeup off at the end of the day. So we might as well have a little bit of a chat about my skin at the minute and kind of where we're at. Um, as you guys may know, if you subscribe to my channel, I do suffer with acne. I've been on a whole little journey with acne. So there is a whole series if you guys wanted to check it out. Um, I don't actually have any active breakouts at the minute. All of this is scarring my skin scars. Like there is no tomorrow. So unfortunately I'm just in the process of trying to kind of reduce the scarring um, as much as I can, but obviously it takes time. Oh, that's the most satisfying thing. So I also work with a company called Smackney. You will see me using their cleanser today. Um, I do also use the treatment gel, but I don't have any active breakouts at the minute, so I haven't been using it. Um, I've kind of just been focusing on like hydrating and nourishing my skin um, and using ingredients that are good for scarring. Obviously their products do contain good ingredients for scarring, but at the minute I'm just kind of letting my skin breathe a little bit from those kind of things. So my lashes at the minute, they're still looking really nice. I'm really impressed with them. So I had LVL lashes probably around, I want to say a month ago now. Um, and they have lasted so well. I'm due to get them done in like two weeks time. Um, I really, really recommend the lady I go to if you are from the Suffolk area. Um, she's absolutely incredible and such a kind soul. So if you guys are from around here, then pop me a message and I will hit you up with the best LVL technician I know. Um, it just gives me so much extra confidence, like just not having to worry about the lashes. So I'm fairly confident on a superficial level. I've got all the makeup off that I can. So this is what we're looking like. <laughs> 
And then I am going to move in to my cleanser, which is my second stage. So for my cleanser, I do use my Smackney, uh, and this is the Exfoliating Aloe Cleanser. It's really, really gentle on the skin. It contains AHAs and BHAs, which are brilliant acne fighting ingredients. So I just rub this on my skin. like so. So people use facial brushes in different ways. Some people put the product directly onto the facial brush. I prefer to just put it on my face and then use my facial brush on top. It just, I have more control. So basically with these facial brushes, they're really, really easy. They come with a variety of heads. The one for my general morning and evening cleanse, I use this one and I'll give it a wash after every use. So to put it on, literally all you have to do is press it on and it'll fix in place. It requires a couple of batteries and that is that. It works a dream. So what I do after I put the cleanser on my face is I just give my brush a little bit of a damp and then we get to work. So I just work around the face, try and cover all areas. And it's really gentle. I have a really, really sensitive skin. My skin always gets a little bit of redness whenever I use anything like this, but it's not to do with the actual machine. That is literally just my skin. So this is not uncomfortable at all to use. My baby hairs are actually really annoying me, to be honest. So obviously with anything, you wanna avoid the direct eye area. So I kind of just go around it like this. That skin is a lot thinner and it's a lot more sensitive. Um, so I wouldn't recommend using that on this. I also use this down my neck. It is a neglected part of your skincare routine. Your skincare routine should actually cover your neck all the way down to your decollete. Don't know how you say it. They taught us that in beauty. And then I work at my nose and go onto my forehead. So it literally takes a couple of minutes. All the different heads mean that you can have a literal facial in one tiny brush and it is absolutely insane. Um, I'll probably do a pamper video again in a couple of weeks and show you the whole process if you're having like a mini facial. But honestly, it's super, super affordable. Um, I know there's a lot of facial brushes out on the market, but this one has such amazing reviews and I have noticed a visible difference in my skin. It is a lot um, clearer, smoother, and it just has a nice glow to it, so. And that is all I do. I will then rinse off. You can kind of see, I think you can see like the foundation that this is like taken out of my skin. So it just gives that extra bit of cleansing that you don't even realize you need. So I then just give that a little bit of a clean after and I will give it a proper clean once I'm done with my video. I then take a wet flannel. This I tend to use a little bit of warm water until it's cooled down. You never wanna use super hot or super cold water on your skin. Always go for lukewarm. So I then just start on the inside and wipe away. So at this point in your skincare routine, your skin should be pretty clear from any kind of makeup, but this is why it's really important not just to use like micellar water or not just to use wipes because you definitely don't get all of the like grime off your skin. And it's not just the physical dirt and grime that you see, pollution and just everything from everyday life can just kind of get lodged in your skin's pores. And that is what causes breakouts and all of the skin problems that we suffer with far too often. So it's really, really important to do a thorough cleanse of the skin. Even on this, you can see my foundation coming off from all of the excess. So I leave that for a couple of minutes. Um, I always find that it's best to leave your skin a little bit wet. As your skin dries, it will then soak in all the things that you put on it. So I don't tend to dry my face. I used to, but I don't do that anymore. So the next thing I do once I've cleansed is I will use my eye cream. So at the minute I'm using the Avant, which is a hyaluronic sheer butter goji berry avocado age radiance eye cream now i got this for my birthday and i've actually really been loving it and i have seen a big difference just because of genetics i've got really deep hollows and but they haven't been looking as dark since using this so with any eye cream you literally need like the smallest amount so that will do and then you're going to want to work that around the entire eye area of both eyes Thank you. 
and that is the eye cream so after eye cream the next thing i do is a toner and this is the elemis soothing apricot toner i also got this for my birthday and i absolutely love it not only does it smell defined but it just completely rebalances the ph of your skin which is what a toner is for and the ingredients in it just helps soothe my skin like i said it's quite sensitive so having like a soothing toner in my skincare routine really really helps so all i use in this is a couple of spritz on my face and i just let it dry a little bit It's super refreshing as well. So once that's soaked in a little bit, like you can see, my skin is still wet. But like I mentioned before, when your skin is a little bit wet, as it dries, it will absorb all of that goodness. So I do like to leave it a little bit damp. The next thing I'm using is a dupe to, I wanna say it's like Glow Beauty. I can't remember off the top of my head, but it's Lacura, Lacura, and it's a pineapple face serum. Again, this smells divine. And I have noticed a big difference in my skin's hydration since using it. So I just fill up the dropper. Jobs are good in. Rub it around and then I work in this kind of motion. So what I learned from beauty is anytime you're applying any kind of like facial cream, you want to work in a upwards motion, um, obviously not to encourage wrinkles. So I tend just to do that. And that is that. And then again, I let that sit for a couple of minutes before I go in with my moisturizer. Whilst I wait, I just take a little spoolie and I brush through my brows and my LVL lashes. So last but not least is moisturizer. And I do switch this around quite a bit. At the minute, I'm using the L'Oreal Triple Active. And this is the nighttime cream. And it is for all skin types. It's quite a thick cream, um, but I find it really, really hydrating. And I find that it just makes my skin have that extra glow and just gives it a little bit more umph in the mornings. So again, I just tap this over my face and kind of work it in like I did with the serum. Again, with this, you wanna be using it on your neck as well, because that is an important part of your skincare routine. And then I'm brushing it down my jaw kind of using the lymphatic system to help me out a little bit here. And that is that. So the very last thing I do, actually I lied a little bit, is just apply a little bit of lip balm. I mean, I couldn't even tell you where this is from because the things come off, but it's like a watermelon one. And it's really nice. I just apply a little bit of lip balm because then I kind of feel like my skincare routine is complete. And there we have it. That is my evening skincare routine. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, leave me a comment below. Let me know what your skincare routine consists of. Let me know if you use a facial brush or if you're gonna check out Duo Val, or give me any future video ideas that you guys want to see. Don't forget to check out the description bar below for an exclusive 70% discount on one of these facial brushes so you guys can have a mini spa in your very own home. And last but not least, if you're not already, please do consider clicking on that subscribe button and click on the little bell next to it, which will notify you whenever I upload. So without further ado, thank you so much for watching today's video and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys.